It's in reaction to the yearning of stakeholders for a reform in the nation's justice system, and especially for more states to embrace the administration of the Criminal Justice Act 2015, that the International Federation of Women Lawyers, FIDA, Edo State, puts together this one-day workshop aimed at enabling the adoption of the Act in the state. The chairperson of FIDA, Edo State, Maria Deco, in her address, advises the Edo State government to wait no further before signing into law the act which has been ratified by the State Assembly. The Criminal Procedure Act, the Criminal Procedure Code, have been unified and human rights values have been infused into a to measure of to international the representatives of the Attorney General and the Chief Justice of Edo State both agree that the adoption of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act will help to address many setbacks in the state's judiciary. If you read that law, even if you just read the federal one with the few modifications we have made in the law, there are numerous very onerous duties imposed, for instance, on the police and on the state. A guest lecturer at the event also maintained that the act when embraced will not only protect the rights of the accused, but also help to curb crime in society. The suspect who has been arrested is entitled to be notified of why he is being arrested. He must be informed that he has a right to be silent until he gets a lawyer before he signs any written document. This is good because not only will it protect the rights of the suspect, it also means that he can get a lawyer timelessly and that means expedition of trial and which of course will lead to the congestion of the courts and ultimately the congestion of our prison. The Administration of Criminal Justice Act came into force in May 2015. However, some states, including Edo, are yet to adopt the act into their judicial systems.